Mark and I am back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a modesty review on some dresses that I am currently renting for the month and let you know what my thoughts are about how they fit on me and how they might fit on you. Okay, so the first one that I want to start out with is actually my most favorite dress out of the bunch. This is a beautifully embroidered cream full length dress. Um, I think, so on me, it's full length. I'm kind of short, I'm only 5'3", and so if you're a little taller, this will probably have more of a midi fit, but on me, it's full length. It is beautiful, and when I say that the fabric, um, so the fabric is, is really high quality and it's heavy. Like, I wish I would have put this on a scale so that you could see this thing has some serious drape because it is really heavy and high quality fabric. This dress is a viscose and cotton blend. It is uh, semi-fitted through the bodice and it has smocking at the waist to cinch you in. And so it provides a little bit of structure to your overall silhouette. This dress also features a cap sleeve. So what that means is it's just, it's barely a sleeve. It's not quite sleeveless, but there's just a little bit of fabric over the shoulder. Um, that's something that Personally, I'm looking for in my dresses. I'm looking for something that provides a little bit of coverage for the arm. I like to see at the minimum a half sleeve and this is definitely not that. So for me, this is a bit of a drawback, but it depends on you. Like what is it that you're looking for? Some people don't have an issue um, with just a, a short sleeve or a cap sleeve. And so you'd have to determine for yourself. But for me, that would be something that I would probably it'd be a point against the dress for me. Another reason why I love this dress is because the neckline is nice and high and modest. Um, sometimes I find that with clothing, it can be difficult to find a neckline that kind of gives you the covers that you want. The way that they designed this dress is that you have the option, you can wear it as an open v-neck or you can close it as you see me uh, wear in the video and you can uh, tie these tassels closed and give yourself the illusion of a crew neck. So that's one of the, another reason why I really love this dress is for the versatility. If you're wanting a higher neckline, a little bit more coverage, you can have that. If you want to be able to open up the dress and to give yourself kind of like that V-neck, you have that option too. Would this be a keep or return for me? Sadly, this would be a return. And I say sadly, and I really do mean that because I don't know if the camera is really capturing the beauty of this embroidery work. They did a beautiful job picking the colors, the sewing, the embroidery is really intricate and it's beautifully done. The weight of the dress, the weight alone, I'm like, oh, this is a dress that, um, probably more expensive, but it's worth investing in and if you took care of it, you could keep it for years. The drawback for me is the sleeves. I am specifically trying to curate a very um, specific wardrobe and the kind of dresses that I'm looking for will feature at the very least a half sleeve so because of that cap sleeve this would be a return for me so the next dress I'm gonna go over is this beautiful kind of in between cream and beige long sleeve maxi dress and it has beautiful blue and green flower detailing I wore this dress out and I got a ton of compliments on it. Um, I think my most favorite part of this dress is the color scheme. They picked these colors really well. This is a dress that is 100% cotton and um, it's a medium weight fabric so I feel like you could probably wear it year round in the winter. You could layer this up with some leggings underneath and then top it off with a coat or in the summer just wear the dress by itself. It is unlined but I find that this dress doesn't need lining because it is not sheer. It doesn't, it's not see-through at all. So again, that, that kind of adds to, you could wear it in the summer, you could wear it in the winter, fall, spring, whatever. There's a lot of versatility in this garment. Another part of the construction of the dress is um, this on me fits like a maxi. Maybe, maybe in between mini and maxi, but pretty much because I'm short a maxi. Um, it has a loose fit from the waist all the way down to the ankles and so for me that's another pro um, I, I try to always look for dresses that provide not just coverage and in, um, in the fabric length meaning like they cover my flesh but because of the fact that it's billowy and it, it lets out it doesn't cling to my body um, and then kind of like reveal my shape so I really like that about this dress it covers the legs it covers the shape and so for me that's a really good pro i wanted to talk a little bit about the neckline so this is a true square neck um and i didn't mention this earlier while talking about the bodice this is actually a maternity dress um 
I don't discriminate uh, against a dress just because it's designed for nursing and maternity wear. If it's pretty, I'm gonna order it and at least try it on. I like, what I like about it is that um, because it is smocked, you're not ever going to deal with leaning forward to pick something off the ground or the floor and then there's like your shirt is gaping and therefore your chest is exposed. This fits, this clings to the body so you're not gonna be exposed in that way. Um, and it is a pretty deep square, both in the back and the front. I didn't care for that. I don't really like for my um, chest plate and my back to be exposed like that if I can avoid it. Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to find dresses that provide that much coverage. And so again, that would be a judgment call on your part. What kind of coverage are you looking for for me? Um, it was, I, I would prefer if it were a little bit more, a little higher of a square. I'm fine with the shape. I just wish it provided a little bit more coverage. For keep a return, keep a return. This would be a return for me. And again, I'm just as sad about this one too because the color scheme against darker skin tones, this cream and blue and green, it looks beautiful. I love that it's a full length dress. I love that it has full sleeves. The only drawbacks for me because of how I am particularly shaped, just smocking on the bust area, that's a no-go for me. Um, and then the square, no, I don't have anything against square neckline, but it's just a little bit too low of a square in the front and the back. I wish there was a little bit more coverage. Next up is this green velvet dress. Um, green is a color that I'm finding myself gravitating to more often. It's not something that I have a ton of. Uh, I don't have a lot of green in my wardrobe, but it's something that I'm seriously considering building out so that I can just wear it with more ease. I love this color. It's not a crayon green kind of color. It's more of a olivey green, and the fact that it's velvet, um, in its material, it has kind of like that shiny appearance to it. I hope that the camera is picking it up. It's beautiful. Like this is a really, really pretty dress and I, I'm in love with the color. This is a viscose and nylon blend and it is a, I would consider it a heavy, a heavy weight material. And so I would say they didn't skimp on that part. So you're, you're getting your money's worth with this as far as the fabric goes. A bit about the dress construction. This hits me at in between midi and maxi, bear, than, bear in mind I'm 5'3", so take that into account for your own height. Um, just kind of like the last dress, it has a square neckline both in the front and the back. Um, in the back there is a bit of smocking to give you a little bit of flexibility um, as far as sizing goes. Um, there's also a tie detail in the back um, to keep, I'm assuming to keep the dress together um, so that your sleeves don't fall down as you're wearing it. This is also a short sleeve dress and there is also a zipper on the side to make getting in and out of the dress a little bit easier. As far as the sizing goes, I would say the sizing was a little bit wonky for me. I saw this dress online and I assumed because it's nice and billowy and it's big, I, I find that I'm t I tend to be in between sizes, but because it was a, a loose dress, I assumed I could size down and I did and that was a mistake. Um, it was very tight on the bust for me. Again, take into consideration your own uh, body measurements. If you're not super busty, uh, buying your normal size probably will work for me. I needed to go a size up. It was very tight along the chest and it made it difficult, it felt restricting to move my arms. And so just bear that in mind for the sizing. I would say that as far as modesty goes, this would be a, 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 a keep for me, right? In actuality, I, I would be sending it back, but not because I don't think that it's modest enough. Again, I, I have a preference. I've got a strong preference for at the very least a half sleeve, and this is not that, it's a short sleeve. But the, the real reason I would be sending it back is just because it was a little bit too tight on the bust area. I think maybe if I had gone up a size, maybe I'd have different feelings about it. Um, but yeah, oh, also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but this dress also has pockets. Um, so just, yeah, that's another added bonus. But yeah, this would be a return for me just because the sizing was a little bit off. The next dress I wanna talk about is this purple and gray, purplish, we'll just call it a purple dress. This purple dress, um, I this is not, I, I don't have purple in my wardrobe. And that's actually what made me wanna try it out because the print is actually really pretty. And because it's a dress, I don't have to try to match it with anything. So it's a standalone garment. So I figured, why not? I think that in um, just looking at the dress by itself, it's okay. But when you put it on, 
the print looks really nice. Like it just looks really nice as an overall ensemble. The primary, well, let me not start with the drawback. I'll just describe the construction. This is certainly a sheath type dress. This is, when I put it on, the first thought that came to mind was, wow, this kind of feels like wearing a wetsuit. It's not spandex, it's not bodycon, um, but it does fit very closely to the body. Um, this is a medium to heavy weight, so this is definitely good quality material. It's fully lined, um, which is really nice. Well, is it fully lined? It's mostly lined. It's lined up until the slit. On me, this fits like a maxi dress. Um, there is a slit in the front that comes up to the knee. I'm not a fan of slits and dresses, but I don't let that stop me from buying it because that's something that can easily be addressed if you take it to someone who does alterations and they're really good at it. They can close the dress for you, so I wouldn't let that deter you. It features a short sleeve. I've already said before that I, you know, I like, um, the, at least a half sleeve, but there is also some really nice button detailing. I don't know that it's it's probably not showing up, but on the back, there's a keyhole uh, closure with button detailing, and then the sleeves also have the same button detailing to kind of just add a little bit of dynamic uh, features to it. The primary drawbacks of this dress, as far as modesty goes for me, is the V-neck was just entirely too deep which is I think shown in the fact that you can see kind of like my white undergarment under it. Um, so it's the V-neck and it's the construction of the dress. It's the way that the dress is structured to fit very close to the body. I think that regardless of um, how you are built up top, this is probably gonna be too deep of a V-neck for most people if you are not trying to show cleavage or any part of your breasts. And so you would just have to determine that you're gonna uh, layer this with um, an, some sort of undergarment. You could probably find a lace bralette, and if you found a matching purple, that could work. Um, I don't like doing that because it makes, my, it makes me feel hot when I have too many layers on, so I didn't like that. But also, again, the sheath structure and design of the dress was a little bit too showy for me. Again, I say, I don't think that there's a hard and fast rule against wearing sheath dresses if you're going for modesty. I think it has more to do with how you are built. If you have bigger body parts, wearing a sheath dress like this is going to really show and look kind of provocative and undermine what you're going for if modesty is what you're going for. If you have smaller body parts, something like this probably is not gonna make you look um, immodest or provocative at all. And it actually will look very feminine and very beautiful on you. And so it depends on you know, like what you're going for and how you're shaped. The next dress I wanted to look at is what I'm calling my cha-cha-cha dress. It just reminded me of just kind of like a dress that you would like dance tango in or something like that. I think that this polka dot fabric is super fun. I don't, again, this is this was a, an experiment for me because I don't have polka dot and I don't have a lot of black in my wardrobe, but on, this looked so pretty. Like this just looked so pretty and I wouldn't really think that because like I said, I don't really, gravitate towards blacks and, and dark colors. I don't think they really do much for me, but this looked really, really nice. It is 100% polyester. It is a chiffon type fabric and it's very lightweight. The dress features short sleeves. Um, it's kind of like a flutter sleeve, if you will. The neckline is square. I think it's a little bit more of a modest neckline than some of the other square necklines we've seen on some of the other dresses. And also because the top of the dress is uh, lined with elastic you're not again you will be relatively safe if you had to lean over pick up something you won't get that gaping that exposes your chest so that's nice as well this dress is completely lined fully lined so you're not going to be dealing with anything being too sheer and then also it has smocking at the waist to provide some structure and then just overall shape while you're wearing it. Something that I really enjoyed about this dress is it is a tiered, a tiered dress. I think that that's how they would describe it. So it's got these like panels of fabric which give the dress movement as you're walking. And I think that that's just kind of like fun and it just looks nice. And I think it adds a little bit to kind of the feminine appeal. It has that same uh, panel of fabric over the bust as well. And so in a way it's kind of giving you a little bit of coverage, you know, like, um, sometimes I find that if a, if a top is really, really tight and it clings and it fits like spandex, it kind of like exposes your shape. This panel of fabric over the front kind of gives you a little bit of coverage to kind of obscure your, the exact measurements of how you are up top. I think that if there were any adjustments that I would make to this dress just to make it a little bit more modest, 
is I would probably relax the cinching at the waist. Again, um, how relaxed it would need to be, um, it depends again on each person. I honestly think that that might be part of the reason the Bible does not have a dress code for modesty because modesty from person to person is going to vary. Someone who, who puts this dress on as is, straight off the rack, it's probably gonna look fine. But for me, because um, I am a little bit heavy on the bottom, when I wear something that's very, very, very cinched at the waist, very cinched at the waist, as soon as I turn to my profile, you see that thing I'm carrying behind me. And so I, I, I have some dresses that even though they're cinched at the waist, it doesn't give that effect. And so I think it depends on fabric. And then there are some dresses that I saw that the person who manufactured it, they specifically relaxed the waist, not to the point that there's no structure in the dress. It's just, it doesn't fit right at the waist. It's just a little bit of room. And that little bit of room kind of like smooths out the curve so that everything is not just like poking out and you can see everything under the dress. So that would probably be the only adjustment I would make here is I would relax the waist just a little bit. I don't even know if that's something that you could do. It would have to be a design choice that the person who designed the dress made. But just relax it just a little bit. Besides that, I think this is a pretty modest dress and it would probably be a keep for me. Okay, the last dress that I have to show is this really pretty blue and magenta dress. The first thing that stood out to me about this dress and why I picked it to try it on was just the bold colors. Again, I'm not really someone that wears navy and I don't have any magenta in my wardrobe, but I just wanted to try it because I think that together this is very fun and kind of tropical. Another thing I appreciate about this dress is there is smocking all across the neckline. And so that gives you the uh, option to either wear it just kind of like relaxed at the shoulders, which is what you're seeing me do in the video, or you have the option to pull it down and wear this as an off shoulder dress. It's your call. Um, this features a cap sleeve. Again, this isn't even quite a short sleeve. It's just a cap sleeve. It features pockets. It is a full length maxi dress. It is unlined. Um, it is a very, very, very lightweight fabric. Um, so probably best for warmer months. This is 100% modal. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not particularly familiar with the fabric. This dress is completely unstructured. And what I mean by that, there is no cinching at the waist. Um, it's, it's just a billowy dress all the way from the shoulders down to the ankles. It's, it's just billowy. I tend to not like dresses like this. I picked it because the colors were really interesting, but I don't like unstructured dresses like this. To be honest, it kind of reminds me of like what I would see my grandma wearing, like a muumuu or something, just like kind of comfortable. But you have to decide, right? Each person's style is different. Um, if you're looking for something that's very, very modest, because there is no structure in this dress whatsoever, this is not going to expose you to in any degree because it fits kind of like a sheet. And so you have to decide if that's something that you like. But what I do to make this better, I would increase the sleeve length to about half, and then I would add some sort of structure. Maybe you know how in sometimes for a dress, they actually build in a drawstring that you can decide like how tight or how loose you want it to be. That would be um, an adjustment that I would make. I would keep the pockets and maybe, just maybe add a liner just because of how light the fabric is. But as, again, as far as modesty goes, this is a very modest dress um, because I'm not a fan of unstructured um, dresses and the color scheme, while it is beautiful, doesn't really speak to my personal style, this would probably be a return for me. All right, that was all the dresses that I um, rented for the month. And that's my, my opinion on how modest or not modest they are, what kind of improvements I would make to them. Of the dresses that I showed you guys today, which one is your favorite? And what are some of the, um, I don't, I wanna say rules, right? Cause it's not rules, but like, I think all of us have an individual standard of modesty that we're going for. Would you mind putting in the description box below what you tend to look for when picking modest clothing? I would love to know what you guys think about that. But as always, thank you for tuning in and I will see you next time. Oh, here we go. It's overflow.